Hey, on page 85, um, you know, I just came across your, your video on lucid dreaming, and, you know, I haven't seen any of your other videos, but you seem pretty uh, sincere in, in your video, and I thought I'd give a response to some of the things. Um, to start with um, Christians, um, I already have a, a video, it's actually split up into two videos on, on YouTube, um, introducing the concept of lucid dreaming for Christians and showing the um, biblical references, but um, beyond that, you know, I've been having lucid dreams just about all my life, going back into childhood. And my daughter's five, and she started. So, uh, you know, I, I I really think that the the response that I've seen from some Christians that um, this is all just supernatural and witchcraft and and uh, all Christians should stay away from it is really silly because I didn't go looking for it when I was a kid and my child my my daughter isn't and it's just um, it's just nonsense and like I said just go check out in my my video um, there are biblical references and the um, the common fears against these types of things um, lucid dreaming and astral projection and and telepathy they're really just not founded solidly in the Bible. Um, I, I, I know that you know some people might be upset by that, but so far I haven't heard any um, any real criticism on on this stance. Um, I've been showing people for years and usually uh, for some reason Christians just forget all about what I've told them um, within a couple days. but. Anyway, away from that, moving on. Um, every now and then, in in my dreams, I've seen um, what might be telepathic content. Um, it's in comes in different forms. Like, um, you know, I teach people about dreams, and then things from from my life will pop up in their dreams that uh, I haven't told them about or uh, I'll meet people for the first time and then dream about them and have personal information revealed in the dream which they didn't tell me um, but I seem to remember back um, in 99 and and a few times before then 1999 that is um, having shared dream content with um, other people including my sister and close friends and I still really don't know what to think about that. Um, you know, was there some sort of communication going on subconsciously before the dreams, which made a share content, or or what? Um, but more recently, in dreams, um, I've had dream characters who, just like me, they're aware that that they're in a dream, but they're pretty convinced that it's not my dream, that it's their dream, that um, they're sleeping somewhere like in o Ohio or something like that, and that I have entered into their dream, or maybe that I am a dream character of theirs. Um, and once again, I really don't know what to think of that. Um, you know, it's probably just um, you know my brain creating a an odd coincidence while I'm dreaming, um, but who knows? Um, maybe we re we really are connected somehow um, on a on a deeper level than than we normally communicate. Uh, anyway, uh, I think that's about it. I'm gonna get on to drinking my coffee and paying my bills and. I guess I'll see you next time.